Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Ishan Sharma and today in this video we'll be talking about some tips, some practices that you can follow to become a great programmer. Let's start this video. Okay, so today I'll be talking about five tips in particular, starting with the first one and that would be to enjoy the process more than the end goal or the end result. Why do I say that? Let's take an example of you solving a problem that requires you to apply DSA skills. So here, what happens is that a lot of people just go to Stack Overflow or some other website, they'll copy the code and they'll paste it over there and uh, they will be able to solve that problem over there. Now, there are some problems with this, right? Because yes, you have completed that problem for that time, but you didn't really understand the underlying concept, okay? And that's what is more important. You should enjoy the process of you going from a brute force approach to an optimal solution. Okay, that is really important. And if you cannot do that, then you will not be able to actually answer a question that uh, someone will ask you in the interview. So you might have a great you know, ranking or you have like four or five stars on Code Chef or Code Forces and all, but you would really struggle to answer a question when someone asks you without the need for you to search online, okay? That's really important for you to understand. And even if you go into like things like web development, you learn React and all, you should really focus on understanding how everything works, understand how to build a website from scratch, breaking into components, using hooks, props and all that. So you should be able to do that without any problem. That is really important. Let's move on to the next one. And this one would be to not panic. Okay, a lot of times what happens is that you're making a website or you're making an application or you're trying to solve a problem and you're not able to do it, okay? You're just not able to get to the final optimal solution and so you end up giving up. Now understand this thing. You need to put in effort, okay? I will tell you my own example. I was building a website the other day and building the website took me about two hours but finding out all the errors and the bugs took me about 10 more hours. So it takes a lot of time for you to actually debug something to fix the errors then it takes you to actually start and build the website itself that's really important for you to understand spend as much time as you can and have patience understand that you just need to improve yourself one percent every single day and do that over a span of 365 days one year to become 37 times better than what you normally were this is a really powerful concept compounding is really important so yeah, this is what I would say. Don't panic, give it time as much as you can and just go with that. Let's move on to the third one and that would be to actually understand the question. Read the question properly and then try to answer the question itself. It's really important that you put in the effort to read the question once, twice, thrice as well because you will realize that the question has all the answers that you want. If you have any doubts, if you have any, if you are having some confusion, the question will solve it most likely, right? So spend some time to read the question properly and just try to break everything down. What is asked? What is the input? What is the output? What is the question saying? What are the requirements? Write it down somewhere and try to visualize everything how it would actually work. This is really important for you to do. And if you can do this, you will be able to solve the problems much easily. Now the fourth part would be to actually start from the basics, learn the theory, spend some time on it. Maybe you are learning DSA to get started with cognitive programming. So before you start cognitive coding, you can actually spend some proper time on DSA itself, learn what are these data structures, how are they implemented, what are these algorithms, how can you use them, properly study it before jumping on to you know executing it on some program solving some question that is really important a lot of times what you miss out on are the little details right the nuances of every single algorithm how are they different from one another what are the approach that is used so that is really important for you to understand make sure that you first learn the basics learn the theory this applies to pretty much everything Let's say you want to start with learning about JavaScript and all that. You need to properly spend some time and understand the basics of it first of all, and then go into React. Okay, this is what I would say. Learn the basics, focus on the theory part as well, as much as you do on the applied part. And by the way, you can also take a look at the courses and articles that we have on geeks for geeks website itself. Uh, there will be some links in description that you can take a look at if you are interested. 
Moving on to the next one, and this would be the fifth and last tip that I would give, and this would be to understand that there are a lot of solutions to the same question, okay? If you are not able to solve a problem, let's say you give up after two hours, three hours, five hours, one day of trying to solve that question, take a look at the editorial section, find the solutions to it, and try to understand how everyone else is trying to use their perspective for this particular question, okay? This is really important. If you can do this, then it would be great for you to solve questions. It would just be really beneficial for you. Whenever you go out to solve another question, you will understand that, okay, this is one perspective to look at it. This is another perspective to look at it. This is what you can apply. This is how you can make it better. And that would be really good. All right, so take a look at all the solutions that are available for you. And that way you will be able to better estimate that, okay, this is how I want to create a program. These are other approaches as well that I can use. Okay, this is what I would say. These were the five tips that I would give you if you want to become a better programmer. This is more into, you know, uh, competitive programming and building your problem solving skills. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, make sure that you hit the like button as well and take a look at the courses and articles that we have, link in description to that as well. Thank you so much and I will see you all in the next video.